Lovely Bad Things, Hollow's Row, Book One by Trisha Wolfe, spins a menacing narrative of love, horror, and the supernatural set in the town of Silent Hollow. Filled with occult practices, forbidden romances, and esoteric secrets, the story is a gothic tale enshrouded in the dark allure of its setting and characters, teeming with mystical intrigue and ominous suspense. The narrative follows Braden Arquette, a young man returning to Silent Hollow after serving time for a crime he didn't commit. His unjust conviction for the murder of his own brother, Tristan, left a shadow over his life but he is determined to reclaim his innocence and unearth the truth that has tormented him for years. Silent Hollow is notorious for its occult history and connection to the spiritual world, and as Braden digs deeper, he realizes that his brother's death was entangled in these otherworldly mysteries. Upon his return, Braden encounters Adeline Addie LaRue, a town outcast with a haunted past of her own. Addie's mother, a powerful witch, has been murdered, cementing her family's unfortunate legacy in the town. Despite their societal status, Addie and Brayden are drawn to each other, sharing a bond threaded by the misunderstood and the macabre. As Brayden begins to peel back the layers surrounding Tristan's death, the pair discovers that Hollow's Row, an elite secret society within Silent Hollow, may be at the heart of the dark happenings. Hollow's Row is a group that upholds the traditions of the town and conducts mystical and sometimes nefarious rituals that hold sway over the town's inhabitants. The closer Braden and Addie get to the Row, the more danger they find themselves in. The truth of Tristan's murder is intricately tied to the Row and the town's history. Tristan had stumbled upon secrets too grave to go unpunished by those who would keep them. Braden and Addie learn that Tristan was dangerously close to unveiling the dark core of Hollow's Row's operations, and that his murder was an attempt to keep those secrets buried. Their investigation reveals the true nature and extent of the Row's power. The society has been manipulating events in Silent Hollow for generations, controlling the fate and fortunes of its citizens with elemental magic steeped in blood and sacrifice. Tristan's death was part of a larger, more sinister plot that threatens not just Braden and Addie, but the very fabric of Silent Hollow. The Rose Power is linked to an ancestral curse that haunts the town. To unravel this mystery and bring Tristan's real murderer to light, Braden and Addie delve into the history of Silent Hollow, confronting both their own fears and the dark entities that shadow the town. They discover that Addie's mother was protecting a secret powerful enough to destroy the Rose and that Tristan's investigation had led him too close to unveiling it. As Braden and Addie grow closer, their relationship becomes a beacon of hope amidst the darkness. Their love for each other is a force that defies the oppressive control of Hollow's Row. However, navigating their complex emotions becomes as perilous as confronting the town's dark underbelly. Braden is still seen as a pariah, wrongly accused of a heinous act, and Addie must grapple with her lineage and the fear it evokes in their community. Throughout their quest, they encounter a slew of intriguing characters who provide clues and distractions. Some are pawns of the row, while others, wishing to see the society's downfall, become their unlikely allies. Braden and Addie's trust in one another is tested again and again as they sift through the masked intentions of those around them. As the specter of Hollow's Rose influence looms ever larger, Braden and Addie confront the chilling revelation that Tristan's death was a necessary sacrifice to fulfill an apocalyptic prophecy, one that would grant the members of the Row unfathomable power. To stop this prophecy from becoming reality, they must uncover the final pieces of the puzzle that Addie's mother left behind, a counterspell potent enough to counteract the curse. The tension mounts to a fever pitch when Braden and Addie are finally able to pinpoint the individuals responsible for Tristan's death and Addie's mother's murder. They must outwit and outmaneuver these adversaries, who have long thrived in the shadows, wielding their sinister power with impunity. Their confrontation with these murderers is fraught with peril, exposing Braden and Addie to the darkest magical forces that thrive within Silent Hollow. A climactic battle ensues wherein Braden and Addie use the counterspell to upend the Row's intentions and dispel the ancestral curse. In a dramatic turn of events, they manage to disrupt the Row's ritual, 
preventing the prophecy's fulfillment and liberating Silent Hollow from its cursed fate. The fallout from their actions is dramatic. Hollow's row is dismantled, and its members are exposed for their corruption and manipulation. Braden's name is cleared, and he is finally able to lay his brother's memory to rest, while Addie's family name is somewhat redeemed in the eyes of the townspeople, with her mother's true intentions brought to light. Through victory and vindication, Braden and Addie realize that the fight against the darkness is never truly over. There are more secrets buried in Silent Hollow, waiting to rise again. As they stand together, their connection cemented by the trials they've overcome, they are prepared to face whatever comes next, knowing that their bond is stronger than any spell or specter the town can conjure. Lovely Bad Things, Hollow's Row, Book One concludes with the understanding that the battle was merely an opening salvo in a larger war against the arcane forces festering within Silent Hollow. Braden and Addie are resolute in their commitment to each other and to protecting their town from the darkness that still lingers. As they brace for future struggles, they take solace in the knowledge that together they have defeated Hollow's Row, forging a path of hope amidst the encroaching shadows. The novel leaves readers with a sense of eerie anticipation for what Book Two will bring, as Silent Hollow's depth of secrets and the resilience of its heroes promise further macabre adventures and gothic romance. This mixture of eldritch horror and deep affection establishes a compelling foundation for the series, striking a harmonious chord for fans of the genre and setting the stage for the continuation of Brayden and Addie's story against the backdrop of Silent Hollow's otherworldly terrors. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.